Hello, my friends of Tri Cities Community Television. Welcome to our program of site. So inspired today to have a great friend and author, my friend Carol Mesmer Wright, here in the Tri Cities, talking about her collaboration in this amazing book, One Voice. Welcome, Carol. Uh, I know you for a long time. You've been working and collaborating to support women in the Tri Cities, and now you are uh, starting a new project and that is your own practices as a coach and you are uh, tomorrow you will receive another certificate as a coach that's correct i uh, have just completed my certification as an integrative development practitioner and i'm really excited about that because that takes me into the realm and of leadership and working more with leaders and executives to help them really truly uh, be the leader in their own life so that they can lead others with more connection, with more community, and with more love. I am so excited to hear that you are, this is the fifth book that you are collaborating. And I love the name, The Impact of One Voice, because every story, every voice, every message matter. So tell me how you were invited and what will be your, uh, like, what would be the, the key point of your participation in this book? Well, I was invited by R.V. Robinson, who is a um, speaker trainer, actually in Orange County, California. And the impact of that book, of one voice, is everyone's voice does matter. Absolutely. And everyone's voice is expressed in different ways. So for me, when I contributed, I contributed around shift happening in our lives. And it truly does, whether we're little people, whether we're adults, but things happen to us. And so it's how we step into what has happened and how we take and make ice cream versus making muck out of it to move our lives forward. So truly, our voices matter. Every voice matters. And so often, too, women and men close their voices down instead of standing up and speaking up for what matters to them, telling their truth, and being in their truth. So that really is the emphasis on the book. I, I feel so uh, empowered with your words. Um, it's important that we keep our own voice and we live our own truth. So that's why I love to have uh, this program, to support my community, for them to be able to really connect between communities and supporting each other as a human. Not as a number. It's really important that we get that connection in our society, in our community, and with the people that we, we love and care. Yes. So tell me more about uh, this experience and, and, and what is next for you? Well, this experience was unique, as every book collaboration is. Collaborated with international authors, so it was a lot of fun getting together with everyone virtually from around the world. And it was also in that using of an opening up of one voice, it also was truly listening to who everyone else is and the contribution that they bring. And so that, for me, built more connection and it built just a stronger sense of community, which is ever so important. So as I move forward, I have just launched the Naked Leader Ship Institute, oh, which wow. is not about taking your good, clothes good off. Name, good name there, <laughs> Naked Leadership. Naked people. Leadership, but it is truly all about individuals consciously choosing to be the leader in their own life. And another way of saying that is it really is a conscious self-image adjustment. So really begin to see who you are as an individual, all that potential that 
an individual has. As I sit here and look at you, Judith, I see your potential. I see all the possibilities in you. And that is who I am as that, as the coach, seeing that potential in you and then walking with you as you uncover and unleash that potential. It's beautiful. I love the name, Naked Leadership for leaders that are able to give that big step and have the, that voice that we are talking to remain truthful to, the, to themselves and to the world, you know? Create that balance in you. Yeah, it's important. Absolutely. And thank you for appreciating the leadership around you because it's good that as a leader you encourage others to make that a step too. Absolutely. I truly believe in each and every person's greatness. We all have greatness. We all come with gifts. And from my perspective, it's important and it's our responsibility to share our gifts with the world. Thank you. Thank you, Carol, for that uh, really wise uh, words and especially for made the time to be in our program Mosaic and sharing this with our community in the Tri-Cities area. Uh, this is a best seller already. Yes. Wow. Yes. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank and you. For you, my friends up there, when you had that moment, a changing moment, still make that ice cream that Carol is mentioned and keep enjoying these moments with us in Tri-Cities Community Television. And thank you for being with us and all the love Keep and remain true to yourself all the time.